There are plenty of hidden gems to discover in Greece. We have previously seen Greek destinations that foreign visitors might ignore, but locals visit frequently. These include Halkiviki and Mount Pelion. But there are some incredible places in the country that even Greeks often snub, unless they live in close proximity to them. Some of these places are the birthplaces of important modern Greek figures. They have landscapes and architectural styles that you may not associate with Greece. Let's explore together some of the most underrated Greek destinations. Xanthi is a unique city in the region of Thraki in northeastern Greece. Since it is not located right by the sea and due to its a bit colder climate, many Greeks and foreign visitors rarely travel to Xanthi. The exception is of course the well-known annual carnival festival season. But Xanthi, especially its old town, has a very unique and beautiful architecture that it is hard to find in Greece. Its local bazaar attracts many visitors every Saturday. And let's not forget that the city was the birthplace of one of the greatest Greek and European composers, Manos Hatzidakis. His beautiful home is now a museum that everyone should visit when in Xanthi. Kavala is another city in northern Greece, this time situated by the sea in eastern Macedonia. Due to the fact that it is located far from Athens, it is not such a popular destination as other places in Greece. But the city is not only beautiful, but it also has many monuments that showcase Greece's long history. It was founded in the 7th century BC, and it was an important fourth city of the Byzantine Empire. As a result, it has countless monuments that are worth a visit. Not only that, but Xanthi is also connected to the Roman Via Ignatia hiking trail. Another beautiful Greek location that is not easy to reach from Greece's big cities is Kifira. Kifira is an island located in the southeastern tip of the Peloponnese Peninsula. It is associated with another much smaller island named Antikifira. The islands have a long history, beautiful landscapes and beaches, and a unique architecture with a Venetian influence. When it comes to Antikythera, you may have heard of the famous Antikythera mechanism, the oldest example of an analog computer that was used to predict astronomical positions, among other things. The mechanism was discovered at the shipwreck off the coast of the remote island of Antikythera. Arcadia is a region in the Peloponnese. The region has a long history and it has been featured in many mythological stories, including the story of Arcas and the god Pan. Since it is not connected to the sea, it is not a popular destination for people who visit Greece. But Arcadia is an area you should definitely visit once in your life. To begin with, the area has been traditionally inhabited by one of the oldest Greek tribes, the Arcadians. The mountains of Arcadia are full of picturesque, authentic villages. Tripoli, the city of Arcadia, is known for its brave people. They played a crucial role in the Greek War of Independence. You may know the island of Salamis thanks to the naval battle of Salamis against the Persian Empire in 480 BC. It is in close proximity to Athens and it belongs to the administrative region of Attica. Although many Athenians visit Salamis for a short visit, it is rarely the first choice for their summer vacation. But the island has a long history and it is featured in countless mythological stories. Not only that, but it was the birthplace of the ancient tragedian Evripides. The island has beautiful monasteries, including the historic monastery of Phaneromeni, various beaches and forests. Mm -hmm. 
Syros is a Cycladic island, just like Santorini and Paros, but fewer people know about it and even Greeks rarely consider it for their summer vacations. Perhaps that is because it was an important industrialized port island with an atmosphere that distinguishes it from the laid-back neighboring islands. Syros is an impressive island with numerous neoclassical mansions, especially in its main town, Hermopolis. The mayor's house of Syros is one of the most impressive municipal buildings in the entire country. Anosiros, a second town, was built by the Venetians. It still maintains a medieval atmosphere. The island is the birthplace of many important Greek figures from antiquity till modern times, including the illustrious writer Emmanuel Roivis and the legendary musician Marcos Vamvakaris. If you love history and architecture, Syros Island is an island you should add to your list. The most underrated place to visit in Greece might be Misolongi, which today is mostly known for its salt. It is rarely on the list of Greeks and foreign visitors, unless they have any ties to it. Misolongi did not only play a crucial role in the Greek War of Independence, inspiring the Philippine Lord Byron to participate in the revolution, but it is also one of the most unique Greek destinations. The town, situated in Etolia Karnania in West Greece, has a picturesque architecture but also a functional and modern urban planning that is hard to find in most Greek cities and towns. Moreover, it is one of the few places in Greece where you can safely ride your bike. It has many landmarks, including the Garden of Heroes, museums and cultural centers. The first Prime Minister of Greece, Spiridon Trikoupis, was born in Mesolongi. The same applies to countless other important Greek figures. A picturesque place that you should visit is Turlida, an island in Mesolongi Lagoon, known for its picturesque fisherman houses and piles. Turlida is connected to the shore by road and you could easily cycle there from the town of Misolongi. All of the above places are known for their delicious local cuisine. The Macaronopita, pasta pie of Misolongi, the Lukumi and Frisura of Syros, the Hilopides of Arcadia, the Anthogalera of Kithira, and the list goes on. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Do you have any other underrated Greek destinations to add to the list? You can leave a comment in the comment section. And I will see you again on Tuesday with another video.